slides wide. Another penalty miss. Johnny Sexton missed one. Bello has missed him. Ben Sexton gets on with it quickly. Island trail. That's brilliantly caught by Ian Henderson. Island with just two and a half minutes to turn the game their way. Bundy Racky. It's a good tackle on the centre. Sean Cronin on at hooker for Ireland. France with a player down on the 10 metre line. It's Kevin Gordon. Johnny Sexton with a little half break, but they're still inside their own half. Rob Carney hangs onto it. Dan Levy. Bundy. Gordon is still down, and the play after Sean Cronin's little probe is going to come his way. Robbie Henshaw. It's going the other way. To CJ Stander. Just over a minute to go. Ireland can't get in to the French half. Conor Murray to Levy. France's discipline, good so far. Number five, Sebastien Varmina has given away a hand, handful of penalties on his own. <laughs> He's staying well away from danger. Should have given the ball there, just draws it on the right wing. He's limping. Oman presents it again, but they're still stuck in their own half. Aki. Levy came close and couldn't really help. Sexton, big devil, Tono, big target for Varmaina to hit legitimately. Robbie Henshaw. The closing seconds of the match. Is there one more little twist? to this match, Ireland up to halfway, we're into overtime, Ian Henderson, Aki, France's defending has been excellent, Ireland still in possession, Sexton, he risks the kick, Keith Earls rises high, but Katawa stayed off him, didn't dare touch him in the air. Ireland now, deep into the French half. John Ryan. Ten more yards and they'll probably be in drop goal range. Sexton is down though, the drop kick expert is down on the ground, back on his feet now. It's still a long way out for the drop goal. Guillaume Guirado, the French captain, looks on from afar as big Devon Tona up beyond the 10 metre line. Peter Romani. At what point do Ireland risk the kick? It's a long, long way out. They have to get closer than this. France's defence excellent through Danny Pizzo's 17. Heavyweight tackling by Gomez Saar. Bundy Aki. France's defence still keeping Ireland at the halfway line. Fergus McFadden wearing 23 involved. His another replacement, Dan Levy. Romani we're back up to the 10 meters and look at the phases 36 of them Sexton infield or inside to Henderson Lost 
Henderson again. Creeping closer to the... The point at which a drop goal becomes possible. Sexton waits, here it comes. It looks good. He likes it. Nigel Owen's arm goes up. And Ireland have stolen the game right at the death. And the players tear back into their own 22. And Guillaume Girardot, look at that face. Look at that body. France put themselves in a winning position only for Ireland to steal it with the last kick of the game. Johnny Sexton's drop goal. The final score. France 13, Ireland 15. Well, sport is rarely fair. The one moment of brilliance came from a French player, but actually, when you're talking in terms of kicking excellence and coolness under pressure, that is also an exceptional moment. I, I thought those last 40 or 50 phases were littered with some really high quality moments from Johnny Sexton. All started off from a running drop goal into, I think it was into Devon Toner's hand. From the four broad provinces of Ireland
would change, but it was just a dream.
to Furlong. Vanapola coming in hard, trying to dislodge possession. And again, it's Levy. How oh, industrious he has been over the course of this two months. Likewise, one of the try scorers, Stander. And I were not content just to shuffle this out of play and take a nice warming drink at the break. They're looking for more with Carney. Man of the match against Scotland, just pit ring rose. Furlong once more. And there's Carberry on while Sexton gets a head injury assessment. No, it's a ruck now, so you can't go there. Well, and Haskell and Sinclair thought they were driving Ireland back there, but that's nicely rescued by Levy. Conor Murray might just choose to drop. put the ball out. And they go with Ryan. Henderson back, but he keeps his place in that second row. Here's Ringrose. And again, always the threat. The ambition of Ireland, and once again, they're looking for a try on the cusp of half time. And Stockdale going for it, and he may well have got it. And if he has got it, it's a history making try. Nobody's ever scored seven. Thinking. Gordon, Rory, and it's Rory, a question Rory, of gotcha. yeah. when he stops out, beautiful little kick over the top. Yeah. Who gets the touch? Mate, every time we come down Does he there, knock it on, or is it hit back by an England player? The and then I had another advantage just before they scored. Okay. Well, if he has scored, so, England's decision to deepen the yeah, in-goal area mate, has just backfired again, because one, under the original line, that would have been out. That's come off his knee. I was going to say. Yeah, and he gets that down. Looks like it comes off his knee. This and will be just, conclusive. We're just checking whether this is off hand or off knee. Did it just brush his left hand? What? And did it, after it brushed his left hand, did it come backwards onto his knee to go forwards? <laughs> oh, dear me. What is it about this left hand corner at Twickenham and the TMOs this season? It's a little story, a little drama all of its own. And if Ireland score in this period into the red this is something they have done so many times i think that goes between his hands onto his knees and to go just forward. So I can confirm that that is off green knee there is no green hand okay and then in terms of grounding the ball is grounded in in goal okay mate so i can award the try just hold for the director now please and you may award the try what a roar around Twickenham. in Paris a week ago it will make no difference to the winners and the losers and in a London snowstorm Irish history what a day a day this lot will remember for the rest of their lives and whenever they see each other going forward in the rest of their lives the eyes will tell them that they were part of the most days for a losing bonus point might be important in the final equation when we're looking at who finishes where in the table England to within seven points no, they don't get that on St Patrick's Day it's a green slam for Rory Best following on from Carl Mullen and Brian O'Driscoll in 2018 Ireland history. Yeah.